Once upon a time, there was a man sitting in a room with a bunch of scripts and plays, and was reading through them. He was pretty bored because nothing in them was surprising, and it was the same old story over and over again. So boring. So boring too. When suddenly, William Shakespeare walks in. Shakespeare walks over to the man and asks him what he is doing. The man tells him that he is reading through a bunch of boring old scripts. It's the same old story over and over again. Nothing new ever happens. I'm not surprised. Well, then you haven't read one of my scripts before. Shakespeare then begins to explain the plot of his play, A Midsummer Night's Dream. You see, there's plenty of surprise in this play. There are several parallel plots that, once intertwined, lead the story into a whole new interesting direction. For example, there are the plots of the lovers, Hermia and Lysander dealing with Demetrius and Helena. There is also the plot of the rude mechanicals, workers in the city who want to put on a play for the Duke's upcoming wedding. And of course, there is the story of the fairies, King Oberon, Titania, and Puck. When night falls and all the characters are in the forest, that is where they intertwine and create interesting surprises, like Puck putting a drop from a flower that makes Lysander fall in love with Helena. Or when he puts a similar drop into their queen, Titania's eyes, to make her fall in love with Bottom, one of the rude mechanicals, whose head has changed to that of an ass. Well, I don't want to give it all away, otherwise you might miss out on all the fun surprises. So here you are. The man is so intrigued that he immediately picks up the script and is very excited to finish reading the plot. As Shakespeare takes his leave, he leaves a pile for of all his other plays for the man to further enjoy. The wonderful works filled with parallel plots and surprises abound. <laughs>